Hi everyone. I recently got interested in underwater photography, uh, videography that is, and decided I wanted to try out a new type of camera system, specifically the new GoPro Hero 2. Um, I purchased two of the units and I wanted to test out the two different types of housings. Until recently, GoPro only had the standard housing with the convex lens. And when you put this underwater, it had a problem with a slight blur. Um, third party companies were producing a flat lens housing or a, an attachment that would correct the blurriness caused by the convex lens. But just recently, GoPro themselves actually came out with this housing that has a flat lens with an expanded side to avoid dig netting. Um, I mounted the two side by side on this old piece of, uh, this old plastic cover from a Culligan water conditioner unit and put them into a small stream in Pennsylvania to show the differences between the two housings underwater. In both cases, the side-by-side -side units were the GoPro HD Hero 2. This section of video you'll see that both cameras are taking a very clear picture from above the water. Uh, I did use different settings, mainly because I'm an amateur, and I had forgot to change the settings on both cameras. The dive housing is using a wider field of view than the standard housing, which is on the left. So that's the only difference in terms of why there's a difference in size. But that wouldn't affect the quality of the actual video that's being taken. I just placed the two cameras underwater. And what you'll notice immediately looking at the two different videos is the difference in the fine details. If you look at the rocks on the left, you'll see with the standard housing, you could see some changes and variations in color but no details as to what's causing those changes or variations in color. Whereas the dive housing on the right, you can see the fine details, mainly some algae growing on the rocks. And you can probably, if you were to pause it, you might potentially actually be able to identify some of the small minnows that are swimming out in front of the dive housing, whereas you'd never have a chance with the standard housing. On the dive housing, you can see that the minnows actually have a distinct black stripe down this, the middle. I'm walking through the picture now just to try and show the differences if you actually stir up the water a little bit. And that's about it for this video. I hope that you all found it enlightening and that you can use the information that I've presented. Just to give you a last second look at the equipment that I used, I used the standard housing and the dive housing from GoPro. I used Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12 for doing post-processing, color corrections, and editing of the video. And just to leave you with a slow motion shot of the fishes swimming around, here you go.